Some time ago, a concerned Christian emailed our offices at Apologetics Press saying, I'm leery of your name, Apologetics. I am a servant of the living God, and I have no need to apologize for anything. But I am seeking an answer and saw your site, so please, if you may, answer me this. We were happy to respond to Jennifer and let her know that apologetics is, in fact, all about giving answers and not apologizing as so many think of it in the 21st century. The English word apologetics is derived from the Greek apologia, meaning defense. Although there are plenty of things that imperfect Christians need to confess and repent of, God doesn't want Christians to apologize or be sorry for their allegiance to the Lord Jesus and His Word. Rather, as the Apostle Peter declared, Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. The word apologetics can apply to almost any subject matter, but most often it's discussed in the context of Christian apologetics. God expects Christians to give an outward defense of their inward hope. He wants His people not to take up swords in an attempt to spread Christianity with carnal warfare, but to charge ahead with knowledge and the word of truth. Disciples of Christ look to destroy arguments and every proud obstacle to the knowledge of God and to take every thought captive to obey Christ. God desires for Christians to base their actions upon truth that is honestly and logically defended rather than false doctrine which is dishonestly or naively accepted and is emotionally driven. Admittedly, the early Christians were full of emotions. They joyfully recognized that the long-awaited, much-anticipated Messiah had just recently come into the world and established His spiritual kingdom. They penitently acknowledged their sins. They lovingly sacrificed their material possessions in order to help the poor among them. And in the face of great suffering, they courageously continued preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence. But in the end, whatever feelings they had, Whatever emotions they felt, these sensations were not the driving force behind their allegiance to Jesus Christ. The early church grew in faith and number, not because they had a better felt than told kind of religion, but because they sincerely believed truth, which they were joyfully committed to spreading and defending just as faithful Christians are today. If you would like to know more about Christian apologetics, visit us at apologeticspress.org.